This video is to help provide a tutorial for the creation of the Automoblox T9 body for Activity 5.2 Introduction to CAD Modeling Skills. As we go through and look at modeling the various parts of the Automoblox product, we're going to go through and have to utilize a few resources from the Resources tab in the Canvas assignment for this activity. So one will be the actual activity document. The activity document will provide some information that is not provided on the drawings. So they will go through and provide some specific information on certain features and things to which we will reference. And then also the Automoblox T9 dimension drawings, which show the various parts of the Automoblox T9 vehicle, and then as well some of the dimensions and drawings in order to show how to make the parts. So for this particular part, we'll be looking at page 6 of the uh, Word document for the dimension drawings of the T9 and we will go through and all dimensions that I reference in the video will come right from this drawing. So in Inventor to get started the overall shape of our Automoblox T9 body is a rectangle so I'm going to start with that making sure to start from the origin to constrain the shape to the origin so it does not move as I go to dimension it and the overall size and shape the overall width looks to be 3.16 from our drawing and then I will go through and make the height 1.52 and then for this overall shape you'll notice there are rounds on each one of the corners that have a radius dimension of 0.3 so 0.3 in the 2D fillet I'll go around and apply these around the edges of the part And then once I'm finished, I'll close the 2D fillet option. And this right here is going to get me a fairly good start for the rest of the part. So I'm going to finish the sketch. I will go through and extrude this to be 3.16 as shown on the drawing. And I will say OK. And then as I go through and take a look at the drawing, I can go through and see that there are a couple, uh, there's actually a few different features that will show up for the part. Uh, two of them are on each end will be these square slots that have ran, uh, that have interior fillets to go through and to allow for the connector pieces to fit into and then there's the large hole on the top to which the passenger base sits in to allow for the people to be um, to be put into. So utilizing the dimensions that show up on this drawing uh, let's go through and take a look at creating those uh, those particular features on this part. So in order to do that I will start a new 2D sketch. The first one I'm going to start with is the is the the front uh, connector piece recessed area. So as I look I'll go through and have uh, a new sketch placed here. If you do not have yellow lines that show up around the outside edges of this part I would suggest using the project geometry option and then clicking in the shape to go through and getting that outline there. What this does is it brings the lines up off of the previous sketch and allows us to dimension to them. So what I'll do here is I will draw a rectangle here, you know, and being care and watching to make sure that I stay inside of my shape. And then as I dimension, I will probably want to start with some of the location dimensions. So like from the top edge to the top edge of our slot here will be 0.29. And then from the edge I will have a 0.39 dimension as well. Then I'll go through and start looking at applying the size. So the width of this is going to be 2.4 and then the height of this will be 0.93 and as I take a look there are going to be some rounded edges or interior fillets applied a little bit different from the ones on the outside edges so I'll choose fillet instead of 0.3 it will be a 0.2 and I will go around and apply those fillets to the inside. As I finish that, same sort of uh, process as what we had before. I will say finish sketch. I will say extrude. I will change my extrusion depth to 0.57. Now in this case I will have to go through and actually click on the shape that I want to extrude. So I don't want to click the outside shape but the inside. And if you notice the automatic setting is that it will join the material or add more material from that shape. What we can do with the extrusion is we can actually cut away and actually remove material
from this and perform a subtractive modeling process. So I'll choose the cut option, which is right underneath the join in these series of three buttons that are stacked up in the middle of your extrusion dialog. I'll click on cut. Now in this case, my directional arrow doesn't show that it's uh, feeding into the part. So what I'll do is I'll make sure that the direction two is selected. So then that way I can see the preview will show what it's actually going to do with the extrusion feature. I'll click OK and then I'll be able to see that I've cut out the extrusion feature in this part. The next one feature I'll take a look at will be the top and as I take a look at the top same sort of scenario I will go through and look at providing some projected geometry. I'm going to click all three of these sections because what this rec represents is this is the the flat top that is created and then these represent the rounded edges as it goes from the top down to the sides of the body so but we will need both of those as we look to create this feature so again a rectangle tool will help us with creating this and I will start looking at placing location dimensions before I start sizing this up so from the front edge to the edge of this hole is going to be a 0.81 from the side, this is one where I don't know if the dimension shows on the drawing, but it will be a 0.59 dimension as we show up just to, to show you. So now I can go through and start looking at some of the size. So the length of this is going to be 1.98, and then as I look at the, the width, it will be a 1.59 size as well. So as you can tell it does look fairly symmetrical as we go through and look at it. And we do have some of the fillets so our 0.2 inch uh, radius value still stays in our in our fillet tool. I'll go around and apply those fillets and then I will look at finishing the sketch and creating the extrusion to cut down into the part. So cut and this extrusion depth will be set at 1.07 to allow for extra area to for the people to sit in and for the windshield to sit in this part. The only part I have left is I will need to go to the back and do replicate the same process as I did to create the the front option or the front feature on for the connector piece. So I will go through, draw in a rectangle. Essentially, these will all have the same dimensions. So, a 0.29 height from the top of the block to the top of the feature. This one here is a little different from the side to the side of the feature. Will be 0.38, and then looks like the same size, um, same sizes that would be applied. A 0.93 height, and then a 0.24, or excuse me, a 2.4 width for this here. Same fillets to be applied. 0.2 around the corners and then it looks like the same extrusion depth will be applied as well when we go through to extrude and cut this option in at a 0.57 inch dimension and click OK. So this will go through and get the majority of the Automo Blocks body created and in order to go through and take a look at what changing the material we can go through and we can see from material if you click under the generic option here and you can scroll down to the wood material this particular material will be more of a um, once we go through and see this applied will be a birch material and to go through and represent the the material properly now we're not quite finished with this part as we go through and we take a look that they want us to create the part and then also go through and look at placing in uh, a little bit of a text uh, option in there as well. So we're going to emboss, emboss some text on there as well. So in order to do that on the side of your part, I'm going to create a new sketch here on the side. So I'm just going to project, I'm going to stay away from the curved edges that go up towards the top from the side. So I'll choose this one to project the edges using my text tool I'm just going to draw in a text size so they don't they don't specify what kind of size we have and then I'll go through and make this particular size for the T9 so what I did was in order to do that made one letter 
to be the size of 0.12, which using the drop down menu I can choose that. And then for the 9, I made it to be 0.1 using the drop down menu when I type that in. I'm going to bold this to make this stand out a little bit more, and then I will click OK. So the T9 option will go through and show up on the side. I will say finish sketch and then to go through and emboss this so the emboss tool shows up right here within the create panel along with the extrusion option so I'll create and say emboss I am going to go through and looking at from the drawing or from the uh, activity sheet we are going to make this uh, text stand up off of the side of the of the part so it's going to be raised and I will go through which is this first option emboss from face whereas the second would be an engrave and we want a depth of uh, looks like to be 0.02 inches so 0.02 inches will be applied as far as how far off it will stand up off of the part and then I will click my to choose my lettering it'll show you that and then the only other thing they have is to apply the top face appearance so the top face appearance if you click on the little black square it will ask you what do you want to place on the front and we will end up choosing uh, black as the color so it's so we're going to like paint the surface of the letters I will click OK and then I'll click OK in the menu when I do that the lettering will go through and apply here in a moment once my graphics go through an update and we will go through and we will see that the T9 letter letters have been raised off the part and showing the emboss feature being, being used and then the black surface paint that we chose from the menu has been applied to the face of the letters in order to make that kind of stand up off the part so this is this concludes the video on going through and creating the automoblox T9 body.